everybody. Welcome back to MBE. We have been uh, we haven't done this in a while. Biggs was out of town. He had to take care of family business, so he got all that taken care of. So Biggs is back. So here we are on Sunday, 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 Sunday. So um, Biggs, what what well, Biggs had the camera on? That was part of the first stop of a small block Chevy Bill it had. Um, those are for Guffy. So we're finishing that project up, and then uh, we have there's one right here that. Most of the first stop is finished on it. There's just one sitting over here. So we have uh, two more ops to do to those to finish them. So they're getting pretty close. You can see all the rocker fasteners and everything. Um, that head flows right around 500 CFM. It's a real number. And as we, as we tell you, I think we're one of the only companies that guarantees flow numbers. And you know what that means. If they don't guarantee them. Well, you can figure that out, what they do. And uh, so, so basically making a, a run of a bunch of billet stuff, getting ready for the push that's already started. So once again, you know, we just tell you, like, if you're going to do it and you don't want to get your stuff in March, don't put all the vendors in a bad position because you didn't place your order and stuff like that. So most of the products that we sell, I keep rockers in stock and things like that so it doesn't cause chaos. And so we don't have to be the land of broken promises. So we're making a run of, this is for our 13 and 10 degree heads. These are billet manifolds for our, for our wedge head that we do for the 13 and 10. No one makes a decent dominator manifold for a wedge. Somebody might get upset, but it's true. Especially if you put one of these on, it's a drastic difference in power. So they only weigh nine pounds when they're finished. Compared to a cast one, that's probably 20. It's usually about a, it's, it's usually two to one uh, on the weight. So. And then we have some big block Fords here. Ian finished these up on Friday. So they're just sitting here. He's just got to CC and deck them, and these will be done. This is for a, a Gary Lawful Holes. He's been a customer of ours for probably 15, 15, 20 years, a long time. And uh, they're diehard Ford guys, and they, they run really good. Serious drag racers. I think they got five cars. So pretty cool stuff. We got uh, another, we got a small block Ford over here. This is a customer cylinder head that he sent, he sent us to fix. So he wants to go racing this coming up weekend. So Ian got most everything finished on this and the repair. All we gotta do is valve drop this one head, redo the redo the O-rings in it, and uh, and this will ship tomorrow. So he will be able to race, I believe. I believe everything on our end will be done. I'm actually going to pick up the valves for him in the morning. Now that's customer service, right? Actually going there tomorrow morning to pick them up. This is a set of our 20 degree max poles, so we make it an 18 and a 20. For the sanctioning bodies that made rules on the 18, we came out with the 20, so we offer both. So like we always say, this is a huge upgrade even to our own SR20, the rocker gear, the flow coefficient, the oval ports, just everything about it is a huge upgrade. And uh, we keep these castings in stock. So that's our own casting right there. And we have a pallet of them, so we are in good shape for the winter. And, uh, we'll go down here, Mr. Biggs. We've got some big nines. We've got a pallet of them out there, too. That's more of the conventional heads that we were just showing you, the 20 and 18 degree max. You can see when they come in, there's no machine work done to these. Or basically, they're just cubed, what they would call them. But no, no spark plugs, seat bores, guide bores, rocker gear, nothing. We put all that in. We make five different heads out of this one casting, and all of them have different guide placement. We just don't keep the guide in the same place. We move it for the application, and that's what we try to do so we can have an advantage, so we can stay busy and do what's right for the customer. So those, and then uh, we've been doing more and more of these. It's a CID LS7 head. So we're doing more and more of these. We just we put the C4s and guide bores in them and everything. And then we do these in solids and waters. So for the, for the guys that are running methanol or power adders, we can do solids for it, no problem. Of course, the nitrous guys will always need water. Um, but that's a head, that's an LS7 head that flows over 430 CFM, and that's a real number. That's on a 1020 bench, so on a 600 bench, it's over 440, I'd say for sure. But um, that's, a bad, that's a really badass LS7 head. LS7 manifolds fit on it, all of that. So it's very efficient. Of course, um, we had the CID castings here, so we have our new eight degrees. So I'll go in, we'll go in there and show you that. This is our new eight degree head here. 
So this is our new normally aspirated eight degree cylinder head. This customer got all the lightning done to it, so it looks somewhat like a um, like a billet head. But you can see all the fasteners on the rocker bar. Um, this has a two three ten intake valve. That's a small block two three ten, not big block. Small block Ford and an inch five ninety exhaust. You got an exhaust port that goes over three hundred, and then you have this is an oval port intake port. So this is for high revving, like Australian Pro Stock, Top Eliminator, guys who are really serious NA guys, they, there's finally a cast head um, that will make that three horsepower per cubic inch. This, this head will do that. Um, a guy should be able, if he puts the right rings in it and you go to the right engine builder, just the right engine builder, um, something like this, you should be able to make three per cubic inch or really close to it. So this is a new product, so we're very excited about that. Uh, Jessel just finished the rocker gear for it, so basically we have all that going. Uh, so we're just finishing all this up right now. And then this is getting one of the billet intakes that we spoke about earlier. This is our 13 degree drag wedge head. Because say we do this in a 10 and a 13. It's actually two different castings, the 10 and the 13 are. are. The water jacket is completely different in each, um, just to try and take advantage of anything we can. So we just had another casting done for it. Um, and just get the billet intake. So it'll look really pretty with the valley trays that we make and everything. It'll look like a race park, and that's always cool. Uh, these 13s, grudge racers love them. It's got a valve cover that's similar to an 18, but it'll outrun an SP2 head, a splayed valve head. It'll outrun all of them. And I know you guys see the splayed valve head. There's no way. That thing will kick. and It'll kick our own program that we do for a, for a GM splayed valve head. It will smoke it. And they don't leak water like the GM heads do. So you get something good here. Uh, Mr. Hills, a, a tractor puller, so those are here. He's got an old, those are an old set. They're like nine years old. So we're going to redo all of that. We're going to put all new seats in it, bring the seats up back to the stock height and everything. Um, that way, every, the CCs and everything will be the same. The valve lengths will work correctly for his rocker gear then. Um, so we'll start on that probably next week. Um, basically, he'll have like a completely revamped set of heads, um, and he didn't have to buy a new set. So always trying to look out for the customer. In the end, we hope you just come back. So not to be greedy and try and sell you something new. And then uh, we'll come over here. And here's another one right here that's waiting on a billet intake. We got, a, got about a half dozen on them waiting for them. So those manifolds will be done by the end of the week. So that'll be cool. And, I'm sure Biggs will be taking pictures and putting them up on the on our uh, Facebook page and stuff like that because uh, they'll look really cool with all of this machine. It's going to look badass. You can see the welding turns out really beautiful. I mean, it's just the whole thing is really nice workmanship. And you can check your vacuum right there if you want. So we drill and tap that for you. And then uh, this is a teaser. We'll have something on this very soon. But that's going to be life changing for the large cubic inch drag race guys. Um, that's going to be something that is really going to make a huge difference. So we're excited about that. Um, but we're not going to talk about it. That's all I'm going to tell you. But that's, that's a big project that's almost finished that we're very excited about. Um, it's needed to happen for probably 20 years. And then uh, let's come back here. Oh, back here we we're talking about the LS7 CID heads. This is a solid set right here. We have two sets going for Tom Hammonds. So his engine builder is Anthony DeSoma, so he's building these. So these are just about ready to go. Just uh, basically we just got to do the, do the final clean on them and tap the hoops in. So, but these, look at, I mean, these turn out really nice. And that's a solid head and you pick it up, you can tell. O-ring the, the uh, exhaust flange. This comes with Jessel steel rockers, so it's a nice piece. And then uh, another set of big nines here, so this is for a power adder. And then here's another set of big nines that are in here for service. So a customer bought these. These were an NA setup. He's going to run that 632 nitrous class. So we're going to set this up for the power adder so he won't have any issues um, with detonation and things like that. And we'll get the things back up, bow job, and get them all back up to new. We'll end up putting different intake valves in it and stuff like that so the valve won't stretch underneath the heat, uh, underneath those conditions of the nitrous. Um, we designed every valve for the application. So a power adder valve, an intake valve will look completely different than an NA valve. 
Um, so just looking at all the details, it doesn't cost anybody anymore to look at the details. It's just up to us to take care of you. And here's another set of, uh, those are 18s or 20s, but that's a max pull right here. Another set of max pulls. So those are ready for final clean. Um, they just finished the manifold up last week for this. So this job's finished. These will get final clean, and we're just waiting for the lift numbers from uh, from Mr. Uh, from uh, from our customer. So that's all good there. And then uh, just another set for service here. It's another set of max pulls. So lots of stuff going on. It's that time of year where things get really crazy. The other room, you got stuff, don't you? Oh, we do. I thought you did. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Just servicing some. Some uh, pro mod heads there. I think there's more truck tractor full stuff though, but same head. But uh, yeah, so it's that time of year, everybody. So um, it just make sure uh, if you want to race in February or March, don't put your engine build in a bad position. Get started now. All right, everybody, uh, glad to be back and hope you all had a great weekend. Thank you.